वेलकम टू दिस वीडियो गाइस इन दिस वीडियो वी विल लर्न थिकन थिकन कट एंड कट विद सरफेस इन सॉलिड वर्क सो लेट्स बी कैन ओपन अप पार्ट फाइल गाइस एंड चेंज द बैकग्राउंड टू प्लेन वाइट जस्ट टू हैव बेटर विजुअलाइजेशन नाउ सेलेक्ट दिस फ्रंट प्लेन क्लिक ऑन स्केच सेलेक्ट एड अ सेंटर लाइन एंड मेक अ सेंटर लाइन लाइक दिस मेक श्योर दैट दिस इज वर्टिकल टू मेक श्योर सेलेक्ट दिस लाइन एंड असाइन अ वर्टिकल रिलेशन Now select a line, make a horizontal, then vertical, and then horizontal line again. Press Escape button, and now select this fillet, sketch fillet tool, and here specify the radius of the fillet. Then check this box. Now let's specify some dimension to make it fully defined. The horizontal dimension is twenty five. This vertical line dimension, make it as. 70 mm and this horizontal line dimension let's keep it as 7 mm now our sketch is fully defined and let me show you how you can enable the surfaces tool right click here in tabs you can find surface when you click here the surface tab will get enabled and this is the option for the revolved surface when you click it here you need to assign this center line which will act as axis so check this box from here and here we have our part and now i will explain you the three different tools just have a look on this fillet guys because it will play a role here i have selected the thicken command i have selected this part here and here specify how much thickness you want i am specifying here 5 this is the first option for the thickness when i check this box from here and here fillet is the same so we are good with it when we added sketch if we select this uh, this third type of thicken tool then here you can see our fillet has been affected which is not desired so we need to be very careful when we select this type of thicken tools and this is the material on both side it will definitely increase the thickness by two times so in our case i believe that our first type this thicken type is fine and now um moving on to the next thing here i want a plane that cut this part in half and i think the front plane is the plane that cut this part in half so make a sketch on it select here a spline tool and make a spline like this uh 3 4 clicks press escape button now hold the control key select these three points make relation vertical again hold the control key select these three point and make relation vertical again okay now move to the surface tab and here select the extruded surface since i want this material on both sides so for that i need to select mid plane here so this is the reason of selecting mid plane that we can specify material on both side like this and now let me just uh, assign it some different color so that you can have a better look what's happening here select air body and a different material has been assigned to it and now we are ready for the second command that we are going to learn today this is thickened cut so select this thickened cut and in here thicken parameter i need to select this surface that we have just created right now which is intersecting our previous part and here you can see let me show it from the front how deep cut you like you can specify it from here i am specifying here 7 mm and this is these are the different options uh, for the thickness let me just select this first one and check this box from here here select all bodies and click okay and this is how we can assign the thicken cut and now let me show you the second type when we select here this will cut the material on both sides click okay and here we have the second type of thicken cut and definitely you can learn the third type it it would have 
the same effect but on the other side let me delete it and explain the third type that is cut with surface so select with select this cut with surface tool and this is very simple when in this window we when we select this uh, surface here we need to make sure which direction we want to cut it we can change it from here as well and when we check this box half of the part will cut away like this when we hide this surface from here and here is the part we have if we want to change the direction of the cut we can definitely do it by just assigning it to the other direction so that's how we can use thicken thicken cut and cut with surface in solidworks thanks for watching